Every good video wants to have the name of the person who's talking somewhere in the first few seconds of it. And we can do that in iMovie using the titles gallery. These buttons over here on the far right, there's five of them, let you import several different kinds of assets into your project. There's a musical note for music, another recorded sound, there's a camera icon for photos, and the third one lets you open the Title Browser. Title Browser gives you a whole bunch of canned effects for text, and there is one called Lower Thirds, which is what these little name lines are, but I want to use one down near the bottom called Gradient Black. It's going to work better on this particular piece. All I have to do is click and drag that piece to the clip. And that gives me this bar that represents the title. I can grab its ends and adjust it in length. These don't ever need to be more than just a few seconds long. And I can also place it within the clip to wherever I want it. And I can reposition it later, so I don't need to be too careful right now. I will type in Craig's name. And I will type in his title, Multimedia Master. There. Now, we like to have our titles set in Helvetica. And if you click on the Show Fonts button, you get a fonts browser. And of course, Helvetica is chosen. We also like to have them bold. And there's a bold style button. And that instantaneously lets me have what I want for my lower thirds. I click Done. And there's my title. I'll just play this section, see where it comes in. Skim over here. Workflow for shooting video on the Lumix camera and the iPhone and editing in iMovie 11. That's good enough. We're done.